you gotta do the full throat clear. You gotta, you gotta <laughs> not spit this out. You're not it's reading. Us. You gotta put all the emotion. Oh, Come gonna... on. This is the first boombox tournament, dude. You got, you gotta be more hype than that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my little caster spiel. Hello and welcome to Valve Winter Games Boombox Finals. Boombox is a VR rhythm game. Pardon? <clears throat> VR rhythm game designed by Cyberspline with major emphasis on timing and swing based mechanics. Tonight we have three finalists competing on three maps simultaneously to get the highest average accuracy across all the maps. Uh, the competitors today, in order of highest to lowest qualifier score, is Lethal, a drummer with experience in swing-based rhythm games there from Beat go. Saber. Um, Garsh, an absolute powerhouse oh. that shows his determination in any VR rhythm game he plays. <laughs> there we go, and we got that. Ayla Lira, who is an undisputed is the undisputed <laughs> best Boombox actor in Boombox. On its way. Um, already, already here. To be fair, I, am, I think how long has Boombox actually been out? I'm Tilted Teapot, and this Three is Bantelope. Three weeks in this. We, what is we I would say equivalent to a major today. tournament going on? Oof, we got away. through like, it with on. throat. That's impressive. Oh my god. Fairly high what Fairly uh. What's the word I'm looking for? High profile tournament. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Three weeks. They're already doing it. Yeah, I'm really excited to do a lot of boombox tournaments. Yeah, so for in short, um, just I'm just going to quickly go over the anyone scoring. that hasn't so, seen it, uh, there's 85 um, points this is for a timing, VR rhythm uh, which game means how on beat you are, hit and then 15 the, uh, points the things for appearing aim, in which front is just of hitting you. the center of the um, drum. Obviously, the concept has been used in other rhythm games, but then this one, you've got the there's a lot of very subtle mechanics which you have to you'll probably see that all being used abuse in some regards. There's some small little things which. Certain players know, certain players don't know. There's the accuracy factor going into it. There's actual timing in this compared to a lot of games, which is something that is definitely more difficult than it sounds. <laughs> when it comes into any, well, hitting any of these, it's sort of the same as um, playing like a, a first person shooter in VR. A lot of people don't actually realize how bad their aim is until they have it thrown right in front of the face, so. <laughs> this is definitely gonna be something interesting, and if you've not tried it out yourself, definitely go have a look, but these players are like, best of the best, to the point where, uh, well, you're going to feel worse afterwards, I can say that much. <laughs> or in all, one of the two, but, anyway, I do believe that the players are ready to start whenever, so... <laughs> Okay, you guys are good to start. Okay, you guys are good to start. Yep. Uh, Transitioning in. So we're going to be starting with Nasty, Nasty Spell. Which is a Camellia song mapped by DK Aeon. Yeah, I'm so terrible at pronouncing the, uh, names, so the tournament we're going to have going on today be, is but going actually to be an the maps today between are, all three of the players. So um, this all is going to be not a just a community uh, mapping a, like a small elimination bracket between the three. Were, these are the top three players three from the three players, and we're going to have the total were, uh, accuracy or score between the, the all of three these players from that. for all three of the songs. And then, uh, well, whoever has the uh, most comes out as the winner. So. Something that's uh, quite different, I would say, quite out there compared to a lot of uh, like competitions when it comes to between rhythm games. But definitely starting out with something very interesting, I gotta say. No, cool. we do have yep. a bit of stream delay. I didn't know whether it was a practice run or not. He's already going. He's off. He's off on a mad one. But yeah. But Lethal yeah, as you'll see right now, look for uh, Lethal yeah. Stream, despite starting a bit early, um, any of those notes that you hit, you'll see those little perfects coming straight out of it. And that's because that's coming into the uh, the yeah. timing thing and the whole he's in the, the whole scoring uh, that he's getting uh, was a lot explained to like, Garsh a bit earlier, I'm, which uh, he definitely knows Halo more Garsh about than me, good. but...
Yeah, so every perfect you see means that he is um, doing far above average, <laughs> in short. But we're definitely going to be seeing a lot of different um, playstyles between these players. Yeah, there so perfect is 95 out of the possible areas. 100. So we're going to be seeing, obviously, by. with uh, Lethal's experiences, a drummer. We're going to be seeing possibly different techniques to that of um, Gosh, who is pop in various rhythm games. So we're going to see the different techniques, especially with how early it is as well. So. How is he getting this high accuracy? I don't understand these players. The 98.4 coming out on Ayla's side as well. Yeah, and then if the... you take a look at Gosh with the 99.1, these numbers Lethal's may not mean much. But for, the for reference, there. any no regular player just playing to hit the uh, hit the blocks and only getting a few misses, you're generally going to be scoring in like the sort mm. of low 90 range. Is going to be sort of the average for any anybody that's more experienced than is like a top. Uh, VR rhythm game play from any other game. That's the sort of area you're probably gonna start shooting for. These players are already only three weeks into this game and already up and beyond. Yeah. Yeah, this is true. There's a lot of uh, very arm-heavy double sections having to move between the far left and far right side of the uh, um, space. So. One thing I do want to note about this well, map really quick is I like the balance well, of jumps in, and like, streams oh, no, no mixed through. And like it's got that. some pretty good doubles mixed but in, too. Preferred environments. Because with this game, you can set up the environment a lot. You can see the different backgrounds they've got. You can also see the different scroll speeds that they've got going right now. And, like, holy hell, is Gosh is faster than everyone else's. <laughs> yeah, Garsh plays... So, there's a scroll speed that's universal between songs in this game. And Garsh plays at, I think, 80 or 90 kilometers an hour? I think it's 90. Which is insane. And I think Lethal's at the slowest, and uh, Ayla's playing at 60? Father's is measuring kilometers per hour is something else, I gotta say. <laughs> but right now... It seems fairly close between, uh, well, Lethal's final accuracy at 98.4. Gosh is actually sat on a 98.9, slightly bit, slightly bit higher, but Ayla unfortunately dropped down because of those previous misses earlier. But as we said, this match is going to be just the, uh, the first of these going, so... As we said, this is all going to be merged into one by the end of this, so one bad map might not be the end, like, be all end all for you, these scores here, so... Yeah, Nasty Nasty Spell has some really complex streams, which I think kind of uh, uh, ended up being in part to Ayla's detriment, I guess. I don't know why I tried to use big words and paused forever. <laughs> but Garsh is like absolutely killing it on the score. He's like almost at a 99. 98.88. And he's getting close to the end here. Yeah, but... We haven't seen how these players have performed in this game. That's the thing we got to keep in mind here. We don't know how these players are going to perform relative to, well, everything else going on. Because we've obviously seen that all of these players have done, like, amazing things in other rhythm games as well. Especially in other VR rhythm games. But especially when it comes to these maps, the, the players can have solid strengths and weaknesses. Whether it be streams, the jumps between, like, bottom left and top right, so for example or just straight up accuracy on some of the slower songs. You don't really know, but... So, um, kind of commenting on I'll talk about the players a little bit. Uh, if you know me, I always like making predictions. I predicted that Garsh will do his best on Nasty Nasty Spell. Lethal will do his best on uh, Baptized in Fire. And um, Ayla will do her best on uh, Empire. So it looks like Garsh is doing really well on the map I kind of predicted. Ooh, the 98.88. Garsh... Is kind of just an all-around player. Lethal plays really well on faster maps and gets really high act because of the, that drumming experience. And Ayla does uh, has extremely good act on slower song. So she's yeah, really so timing. This is definitely going to be something coming into these next uh, levels because I know you took a uh, closer look at some of those levels, so you'll be able to talk us through who you think's going to be winning on what, get us through those predictions. 
<clears throat> so again, for anyone just joining as well, um, this game is a uh, well. This game is a rhythm game that is basically base. You have to hit the blocks in terms of the timing, and there is an accuracy factor going in as well. But you have to hit those with the timing, and then that's where most of the score comes from. So there's no swing shape. There's nothing about um, having to move your controller in a certain way. It's more about actually hitting it in the right spot at the right time. So, and the placements are definitely a bit different. If for anyone that has looked at this game, and looked at the map, uh, placements are sort of five along the bottom row, and then a top left and a top right note. So. There's definitely a more drumming-focused uh, personality to this game, should you say. Um, Something so, uh, which Lethal definitely is showing that it benefits him, but gosh, also showing that previous rhythm game experience coming straight out on that first one. Next, we'll be playing Empire. Uh, it's mapped by Emi Koto. Um... And I believe we are good to start. What do you think, Banza? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hopefully this time... Oh, it seems that uh, not one but two players both going for the same environment. No, getting switched up, getting switched up. <laughs> I've got all purple screens right now. It's real funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit it without refresh. Um, yeah, so on this map, uh, it's mostly focused on jumps. I get the most technical vibe from this. It's a little, it's a little slower, um, and it has a lot of top row corner crossovers, which apparently uh, Ayla's really good at. So, I ex I'd expect her to do quite well on this one. And you'll see a lot of like horizontal doubles. Yeah, this is definitely. I mean, we've already got that build-up. We need that comeback from Ayla so far, because from what we've seen from that first one, uh, Gosh taking it by not really a small margin. Uh, lethal coming very close behind, so it could definitely be a change in map that could cost them, well, the lead at the moment, so we're going to have to see. Currently, as far as scores go, Ayla is sat down currently around the 98, sort of on the, what, on the lower end, like 97.8. Currently, Lethal at a 98.7, and Gosh at a 98.86, so very close battle going on between Lethal and Gosh right now. Gosh is insane. Can we just take a moment to say how fantastic the licensed maps, or uh, the maps <laughs> that Boombox has the rights to? <laughs> like, all their OST music and stuff I got is so good, and they have like 250 songs. I haven't gone through it all, but a lot of it is Chameleon. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure they just got the uh, they got a 150 song license from Camellia. So yeah, that's insane. <laughs> they've got a lot of those going, which is definitely going to be terrifying for any regular player coming into these. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like all the players are playing a little better this time around. You can tell by um, everyone sticking on a combo right now too. Yeah, right now everyone's still holding very very strong. You can see all the misses uh, from last time actually perfectly demonstrate. You can see from the combo the uh, 1.2 times going on. So above a 50 combo, that's what you gain. You get some extra score from it, but that can definitely cost the players a bit if they pick up any misses here. This is very much an accuracy battle. Oh, nice. saying the right away! Ayla no, picking no. up a miss perfectly in time. Oh no, currently very low down for the count compared to Lethal and Garsh at the moment. Lethal? Or Garsh is only ahead by like 0.3 right now at a Lethal. Yeah, it's the 0.03-ish difference, but we at least have that right. um, previous match continuing over. So right now, Garsh is actually still holding the lead. Lethal still working his accuracy up bit by bit. It is actually going up from that 96, well, 98.6, should I say, sorry. Slowly but surely. It's about whether Gosh drops as well. Yeah. So I I heard that um, Boombox decided to go with like a lo lower combo multiplier so that a miss isn't lethal in, in tournaments. But when players are getting this high of accuracies, it's still a lot so like opposed to getting a 97 you get a 95 yeah this is definitely the difference that 
<laughs> Even just a one note, a lot of people underestimate how much it can matter. As if you're coming from some of the uh, other rhythm games, um, especially such something like Osu, I'm sure that you know the di like the damage that one can cause. Yeah. But even here, when it's just one note, and the combo multiplier is so small, it's still so big of a difference. I think okay, you're coming. This is definitely one of the more technical sections. Actually, the player is currently cool. dropping accuracy a small bit. Both Gosh and Lethal both dropping down to that 98.6 and going down like very slowly, but it's definitely noticeable. Yeah, it's tough to keep keep like your ack and combo up here. Oh, currently dropping out the 98.58, coming into the slower section where they're going to be able to build it up a slight bit again, but currently Gosh and Lethal set to be on almost the same score here. Yeah, it's extremely <laughs> close. The song coming to an end, 0 .01. Point zero one between two of the players. That is an 11 point difference. <laughs> This has That's not been. Okay. This game has been out for three weeks, and we're already getting a tournament, and we're already getting an eleven-point difference in a match. Yeah, I think it really comes down to the amount of timing aspect to it, and it's just like when you have good rhythm, it's gonna be close. <laughs> uh, one thing you may notice while we're taking down scores here is the cat underneath the uh, results board. There, that uh, cat's name is Poopa. And Poopa is actually based off uh, the CEO and producer of Cyber Spline Cat. And you can pet I, it in the uh, like main. I was room. gonna say the best part about the game, hundred percent. No matter what, no matter how you're feeling, if you're happy that you passed the song, you're angry that you messed up, your best go yet. You can pet the cat. <laughs> you can pet the cat and make everything feel better. He will purr. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we're just giving the uh, players a small yeah, little job, break thanks. here, just getting uh, getting the scores written down. Everything being around us to calculate who scores what, who's doing as well. But right now, this is um, <laughs> this is definitely being something. The fact that this is so close, we're only we're only two maps in. Yeah, I know it's it's like it's like it's two this game a baby, and it's already so old. You know, like it's. Just... <laughs> <laughs> the players, it's always impressive no matter what yeah. you look at, how far players can come out in such a short amount of time. Now it's just seeing how uh, all of the maps scale and everything with it. But I mean, this game definitely has more to come because uh, I know you mentioned before about having some really good songs in it. If I'm not oh, mistaken, yeah. they've got somewhere around 250 songs that are licensed for it. I yeah, think. and 150 of them are Camellias. <laughs> Um, wow. But yeah, there's something that uh, other games don't generally do. Um, a lot of games you either see it go free to play and have completely public mapping. But what they're doing with um, Boombox is they're actually licensing the songs and then making it so anyone can map the songs that they have licensed and available for the game. Which yeah, is something yeah. that I find really cool for it because I... it gets around that legal issue of, you know songs not actually being allowed for that game but equally it then allows the community to do whatever they want with those <laughs> it'd be so. nice to know exactly what the licensing is though because i won't get into legal talk it doesn't matter <laughs> <I'll talk about laughs> it later. that's so, not where we're cool. going with this one 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 thing we haven't talked about yet is the prize pool. So the prize pool between these three contestants is five hundred dollars, split two hundred and fifty to first, one hundred and fifty to second, and a hundred to third. And given that there are only three of them, nobody's a loser here. Everyone exactly. wins. Yeah. So this that is something is wild to think about, though. <laughs> you finish the qualifiers, you've guaranteed you've got something. It's quite an impressive feat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually surprised we left the shortest map to the end. But uh, yeah, this is one of the shorter maps, but it definitely makes up with it in intensity. Like, the streams are pretty crazy in this. Yeah, with the shorter maps, though, one of the things that comes into this, the difference right now uh, between Lethal and Gosh, if one of them messes up, this could cost them the entire amount, like, the entire round so far. So... 
You can yes. see, especially with these small little triplet bursts, currently both players having very different ways to play it. You can see on Gosh's stream, it looks so much more uh, chaotic compared to Lethal's right now. He's taking his time with these, but it's still... This pattern is so much harder than it actually looks with the small little burst, because you can't just hook your hand under the left note or anything like that. You actually do have to drum that down. Which is definitely something else because the this game um, you have to use a lot of arm movement when it comes to yeah. these. Um, cause the uh, as the devs have informed us, the drumsticks are about forty centimeters long ish from yeah. your hand, so the arm it's, movement is all over the place. Especially on crossovers, it, it, it's so much. It's it's a really good exercise. I think it's the most in any rhythm game I've played like in VR so far. But uh, one thing you'll actually notice is lethal has the top accuracy on this so far right now. Oh, no. Twitch hit me with the purple streams. Let's I go. know it hit me with all of them, too. I'm going to swap over to mainstream. You're going to have to pay attention to it. Slight bit of delay, but... Oh, you can see all of the players still holding to a certain degree. No drops, I don't think, on either Lethal or Gosh. So they this is still that, that small act. I don't know how many times they had a purple screen on her for a while, but... Yeah, Ayla unfortunately dropping quite far behind. The difference between all three of these maps is definitely not looking good for her, but... Yeah, Currently, wanna... Gosh, out of that 98 point... Oh, I didn't see it! It just jumped through! 98.33 and lethal with that 98.51. That's actually, given the difference in accuracy between the previous two maps, lethal score might actually be jumping up high enough that it could take it. I don't quite know what the score difference is going to be between Gosh and lethal here. Unfortunately, yeah. it seems that Ayla is going to be out of the, uh, the running for that first or second spot from what we've seen. But yeah. I mean, really, like, we've seen it in almost every VR rhythm game. It's just it it's it comes down to the day like if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed or like you didn't stretch enough or like you didn't eat well enough yesterday like it it's so many different things can make you just play <laughs> worse someday. yeah so many factors when it comes into things well you can have your house uh, hit by lightning as has happened previously <laughs> with games of this nature <laughs> yeah <that's... laughs> interesting that makes... ways I have no idea who that happened to. That's... You can, uh, this game, see, this game's cruel. You get distracted by the cat. <laughs> yeah. That's Poopa how it goes. Always... You know, Poopa's your biggest teammate in this and your biggest enemy. So. <laughs> biggest friend, biggest enemy. At the end of the day, you've got a cat in your game. It makes all the difference. So one thing really interesting for, uh, you know, the competitors here and anyone looking to play Boombox competitively is Cyberspline's actually actually plans to in, plan, implement a global ranking system soon. Like you see in other uh, VR games. I don't know if they're going to do a PP system like um, OS and a lot of others, but it's definitely something to look forward to. I mean, implant is technically the right word. <laughs> it's close enough. Did I say implant or did I say implement? Uh, you said both. You said both. You went the, went in the... Yeah, I, I said implant and then changed to implement, or did I do it <laughs> opposite? I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, one of the things that also, you can't see it, but one of the players is now messing about with it as they uh, wait in the background. The game also does have its own little uh, drum kit in one of the side rooms that you could just mess about with uh, as much as you want, which is... I, I spent far too long sitting on that drum kit just hitting the same uh, symbol and repeat. I'm not gonna wait, lie. Hold on. <laughs> Put the volume on. It's actually really good. It's lethal, and he's like an actual drummer. So <laughs> it sounds... It's jamming. Uh, <laughs> it is quite interesting to see the actual drummer coming into a game like this, because it, <laughs> the potential coming into games of this nature, where it's now starting to reach movements that a lot of people uh, have at least got experience with, and have got something very, very... <laughs> natural to it as far as their well, you know, their experience goes. So it's interesting seeing how one of the best players of this game so far has instantly been a drummer. So <laughs> I wonder how this is gonna transfer. See if we 
I reckon by ne- by this point next year, we're going to have an entire esports league just filled with uh, boombox players that are all drummers. That's what we need yeah. to go for. The drummer community. <laughs> Fills an entire subcategory. Okay. Oh, okay, so we do have the scores being sent over to us. Um, we have the accuracies. So this entire thing is going to be judged based on the average accuracy of all three players between those three. So... Right now, we have, in third place, uh, Ayla with a 95.14% average accuracy. In second, we have... Oh, drumroll, come on. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> start drumroll, but we can go into it. In second, we have Lethal, which means in first, we do have Gosh with that 98.6 accuracy. Currently, Lethal was in second with that 98.5, the 0.1% difference between them. Standing between both of the players, the GGs have been called in the chat. That was definitely far closer than I expected, I'm not going to lie. It was really (laughs) close. Coming into into this, especially with the new nature of the game, it's generally that you you have one player that massively stands out compared to the rest or something like that. Someone that's worked out its ins and outs very quickly. So, it's definitely... A bit interesting to see uh, Gosh picking up that very, very close win there. So, yeah, and the game's still so young that you know anyone in, in the coming tournaments could end up being top players. Like, you just got to put in the work, right? Yeah, this see, this could be this could be the uh, <laughs> the start of the start of the end for these players. You never know. We're gonna have some random people that have seen this now. They've now seen the the inspirational drummer. <laughs> it's it's only gonna go downhill from here. All of the rest of the drum is gonna come in. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're never gonna know. Gosh is gonna be fighting for his title. He's gonna keep it going. <laughs> Especially with those leaderboards coming in. It's gonna be it's gonna be a battle for sure. If anyone can draw, I wanna I want uh Garsh up on stage with two drumsticks and like an army of drummers like running at him. I think that'd be really sick. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I definitely think that from from everything we've seen today, uh, Ayla definitely having uh, some issues in performance today, but given that their best playstyle from everything that we've uh, seen for, so far, their best sort of play space is definitely on the, lo- the uh, slower side of maps, so it could yeah. definitely just be one of those chances of the map pool definitely, like, might not have been the best in their favor, so yeah. this is definitely something which... In future, this now has... We've now got a setup going. We've got a setup going for <laughs> all of these players. Lethal, actually, I think was definitely the fan favorite from anyone that has played this game. Um, you may have seen the global leaderboards on some of the OST songs. Lethal was actually holding um, 19 number ones out of all of them. So, uh, yeah, And I believe he held the record for the actual qualifier for this as well. So... Well, at least one of the qualifiers. I'm not sure how um, how many qualifiers there were for this, but holding yeah. number one on the qualifiers maps, and then Gosh had, I think, three number ones. So it was very much a uh, <laughs> a good fight going on there. So yeah, Ayla also had 14 number ones on the uh, more slower songs, just because of her act skills. Yeah, this has been. I mean, it was definitely a good fight. We got to put that in there. <laughs> yeah. So, um. I'm- you got anything else you want to say? Question mark? Yeah, I was just going to bring up a couple more things about the game really quick that are changing soon. Uh, apparently, there's only two top row note placements in the editor at the time of these maps creations, but after the finals end, there's going to be an update uh, to the mapping editor to make more possible note placements as well as wall placements, which will be interesting for any mappers out there. And also, we will have a... Or they'll have a system where you can... Instead of like seeing perfect or good on swinging notes, like it'll just show the hit score numbers. And I think yeah, that's definitely, definitely going to be a game changer when that comes in for a lot of players. Because I know a lot of players like to adjust their swings based on whatever they are. Uh, however they swing at the time, they like to adjust their swings to make sure that they're doing the best they possibly can. So More that's going to be a game changer for these. <laughs> More information always better to the point where there's now too much to read. <laughs> It's finding that good balance for your own playstyle. All right, Banta, you wanna you wanna say the final oh. word? Well, 
this has been, uh, I think, the first boombox tourney that's been going. Hopefully not the, uh, definitely not the last, not even hopefully. This is not going to be the last boombox tourney. There's, we already know that for a fact. This game, yeah. even just seeing it now, the, the two people fighting it out for point, well, point 0.1 percent between them. Yeah. And then this is just going to be the start of it. So thank you everyone for joining us today. Uh, I've been Bantelope. Tilted I've has been, been tilted. tilted. <laughs> <laughs> tilted's been tilted. Thank you everyone for dropping by. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if we're gonna Quick have thing. any uh, words from anything or I'll the leave, yeah. players. Um, Val for hosting the tournament and Boo Box for making the great game. <laughs>